Welcome back, Dooney Addicts. I have been busy. Uh, these bags actually contain things that I picked up before the Sephora Spring VIB sale. And then I have a Mac box over here that has some items in it. And then, of course, G.I. Joe stuff over in the corner. Anyway, so a few things that I picked up um, is the Fresh Rose Facial Toner. Um, I actually went in, the items in this bag, I actually went in to Sephora um, for a foundation IQ class. And this bag actually contains some of the items that were used um, during that session. And I decided to pick up some of the things because the results were so good, um, but only if they were items that I didn't already have at home. And um, this facial toner actually, um, I liked it because I, it could actually be used to set my makeup. And that was something um, that I've traditionally not done. I usually use toners um, at night, like after I wash my face or sometimes even before to help remove the extra, you know, oils and any makeup residue that may be left. Um, but this one can actually also be used in conjunction with your makeup application because it is soothing and hydrating. The next thing that I picked up is the NARS Bunk de Sable Highlighter Palette. Um, this was actually not used on me during the class, but it was in stock and it was after hours and I was able to make a purchase. And since it was so popular online and difficult to get a hold of, I decided while I was in store, I would just go ahead and pick it up. So that's the inside of the palette. Three gorgeous highlighters um, in a travel friendly palette. So I cannot wait to get into this. I'm gonna give you a couple of quick swatches. So these are the three highlighter colors and I think um, the one on my left, the one closest to my Fitbit, it's a little bright but sheer it out i think it will make a beautiful glow on the skin and then the other two i think are perfect for my skin tone so i went ahead and picked that up some additional items include the cover effects um, illuminating setting spray i love this it's a setting spray that has very very finely milled silver flex in it not like disco ball silver but just enough for a subtle glow i cannot wait i'm so hoping that um, they will release a gold version for deeper complexions um, but this was absolutely gorgeous on the skin on a day when either you need a setting spray or if you're gonna do the no makeup makeup look or just want to highlight your natural skin without anything this illuminating spray is gorgeous on all skin tones and let's see i picked up a couple of 100 point point perks because i am all about my eye creams right now and the clarins one is pretty expensive so to pick up a couple of compact sizes um, was perfect because you do not need a lot of eye cream. Uh, the beauty behind an eye cream is that the molecules are so tiny um, because the, the skin around the eye is extremely delicate. So you need molecules that are small enough to pass through um you know to to concentrate and saturate that skin so i picked these up one for home one for my travel bag let's see what else is in here a uh, sample of the drunk elephant eye serum and okay i know this has been out for a while it has had mixed reviews on youtube but it is the Too faced born this way naturally radiant concealer I let the reviews um, deter me from actually even trying this. But when I went into the store um, for the class, they actually used this concealer on me. And I'm in the color 
deep tan. And let me tell you, I have not seen a concealer that had the coverage, didn't crease, and that um, actually did what it was supposed to do from a color matching standpoint. So I picked this one up in deep tan. And then last but not least, I'm all about my fresh and I picked this one up. It was a 500 point perk, primarily because it had the travel size of the rose floral toner. So I thought I'd have a size to go with me. I love the sugar um, nude lip balm, the rose face mask. I could live without that one, but it's nice to get one in a travel size. And the soy face cleanser, I have tons of the travel size ones that are great to go um you know great on the go so a few more items let's see what we have in this bag so the first thing is another cover effects and this is the perfect light highlighting powder in the color candlelight so here is the packaging and there is the color and there is a color of a uh, swatch of the color it is really more of a copper even though on the back of my hand and in this lighting it's reading more gold it really is a copper finish so I really liked it it would be great as intended as a highlight or um, you know, on on the eyelid during these warm weather months. Let's see a few more items. This is one of the very first items that I've picked up from Black Up, and it is a um, Sublime powder in the color. I think it's one. Yeah, there's the color one. So here is the packaging and that is the product there. I'm realizing now I don't need to buy a single other highlighter. I have gotten gold and bronzed to death. All right, the Black Up Sublime Powder number one is on the top and then on the bottom is the Cover FX Highlighting Powder. They are virtually the same color. Um, Black Up is just a little more sheer in finish. I think I'll keep both of them. Um, next is the Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder in the color Golden Hour, I think. Maybe. Is that the color? Did they come in colors? But anyway. That's the powder. So I have this one now and I ordered the uh, Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, the new deep color, medium deep, tan deep, whatever it's called. Um, so I wanted to try both of those. And then I picked up another powder yesterday from MAC that is uh, from the Next to Nothing collection. And that one is also a finishing powder of sorts. I have been adamantly opposed to picking up this product, um, but I must admit it has been just because I've been trying to resist the hype on YouTube. Um, it has not been in stock in my Sephora and lo and behold, I came across it, I swatched it, and I got pulled into the Huda Beauty Textured Eyeshadow Palette, the Rose Gold Edition. This palette swatches beautifully. Um, I was going to wait and pick it up during the Sephora VIB sale, but because it's been hard to come by in store, I decided to go ahead and pick it up before the sale. And to my surprise, when I went into the store yesterday to shop the sale in store, since everything else had been purchased online, they actually had two on the shelf. Next is another Becca product, and this is the First Light Priming filter instant complexion refresh this is that filter finishing 
uh, primer that has the lavender hue that is supposed to promote radiance. So here it is, and it really is a lavender color. I will tell you not to be afraid of the color. It really does just add luminosity um, to the skin for a radiant finish. And um, if in doubt, get a sample from the store or try it in store uh, to see if it will actually uh, be something that you would like. If you're going for a matte look, this is not what you want to pick up. All right, here is a cover FX. These are the rose gold um, highlighter drops, the ones that come in the little tubes, um, with the medicine dropper. I broke down and bought the Lala Retro Whipped Cream. This is from Drunk Elephant. This stuff is 60 bucks a jar and it has the little pump on top so it kind of pre-measures out for you what um you know what uh size or portion you need to apply it has six rare african oils use this during the um in-store class absolutely love the hydration that it provided for my skin but probably could have waited and picked it up uh during the vib sale it's good but i have um normal slightly I, i've considered my skin to be relatively normal but i do sometimes have a little bit of oil that accumulates in my t-zone especially on the bridge of my nose that still happened even with that even though it's a moisturizer so not anything that i've noticed so far so exceptional to warrant the 60 dollars price tag but i've only used it once let me dig into that and maybe um, maybe I'll discover that it really is worth it. The uh, Becca Prismatic um, Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Amethyst, Prismatic Amethyst. This is just pretty. I love the packaging. And then when I saw this topped over a golden tone highlighter, it it just felt like unicorns and daisies and silver pixie dust and it was everything beautiful so i decided to pick that up because it is limited edition got a couple of samples in here my receipt i am not a big fan of ness because most of their floral scents i just cannot wear but this one has won me over this is my second or third rollerball in the dahlia and vines um uh, perfume it was 25 bucks for the roller ball I keep one in my travel bag and then during the Sephora VIB sale they had a, a kit that was on clearance for 49 bucks and I picked that up as well because I really do like that scent and I know that I've revealed it a time or two before um, in Sephora and um, hauls and then the last thing that I picked up other than another um, sample of the Blossom highlighter drops is the Clinique Pep Start eye cream. I love this stuff. I am all about my eye creams right now, whether it's Pep Start, whether it's Clarins. I have a Tatcha one that I'm using. I have an Ula Hendrickson one that I'm using. I have one, I think by Philosophy. So I just have them kind of in rotation because uh, this is the year for me to turn 40 and the last thing I want are laugh lines and crow's feet and um, all of those other signs that come with aging um, before it before I can stall them off to tell you the truth. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to keep my skin as young and as hydrated and fresh and as healthy as I possibly can and probably spending way too much money in the process trying to make that accomplished. But um, maybe I should just buy some stock in Sephora. Next, I picked up from MAC the In The Flesh um, palette. This is your go-to color palette for all of your nudes if you are um, looking for that no makeup makeup look if you're looking for natural smoky eyes then this is the way to go a lot of staple colors um, in 
this particular palette and you will find yourself reaching for it often as you can tell mine is not even in the box it's because i've been in it i couldn't wait to record the video before i got in it tons of swatches out on youtube of this palette but if you're interested leave a comment below and i'll um try to record uh swatches of the in the flesh palette a few more things this is the oh darling extra dimension skin finish i was not able to pick it up during the holiday season so i picked it up yes that is another goal don't judge me don't judge me and then um the new glow with it extra dimension skin finish i love the extra dimension um line whether it is the blushes the skin finishes the um, eyeshadows i just really like the texture of these yes i have been in this when i put it back in it's a gorgeous gorgeous color again i'm all about my goals and my glow the bronze goddess of the warm weather season and then i picked up um i thought there were three blushes but maybe there are only two Okay, I did have a third um, blush, but I cannot find it um, because it's in a travel bag. Um, this blush is called Wrapped Candy. It is a gorgeous pinky fuchsia um, blush with golden hints in it. And then this one is called Cheeky Bites. And I've actually worn this one as well. It is um kind of a nars orgasm or love joy um by mac on steroids and then i needed another um eyebrow pencil in um the color spice so i picked that up and then these cutesy teeny tiny um sample sizes which are great in my travel bag the strobe and the skin base and then the next thing that i picked up which is a limited edition this is the justine sky um blush face powder iridescent powder let me give you a swatch of this one so there is the powder in the pan it's really getting washed out and there it is swatched on the back of my hand so thank you so very much for watching I have a couple of more uh, hauls to share with you because none of these items were the items that I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale so I thought I'd go ahead and get these out of the way get this uploaded get these things put up on my vanity so that I could come in and record some more and yes I've got a couple more things that I need to be recording and getting to you but for right now we're gonna just get this corner here uploaded so thank you so very much for watching until next time take care